After three long years, the Ryder Cup is finally back. After Team Europe's domination of the USA team in 2018 in France, the Ryder Cup now returns to America at Whistling Straits. Now you may remember Whistling Straits from a few majors in the last few decades, but this week it's all about the Ryder Cup. There is a lot of talking points for this Ryder Cup which we will cover in this video but first of all let's just look at the teams and there is a clear difference in terms of world ranking points. For Team USA there is only one player outside the top 20 whereas for Team Europe there is only four players inside the top 20. This is quite worrying but for the last few years it's been pretty obvious that Team USA has had some dominance over those ranking points. We've had the likes of Dustin Johnson, Colin Murakawa, Patrick Cantley, Justin Thomas, Bryson DeChambeau and a lot more really dominating a lot of the PGA Tour. In Team Europe though we do have John Rahm, the number one player in the world, the man with probably the best form of 2021. But then when we look down into the consistency of our 12 players there are a few wildcard picks such as Bernd Wiesberger, Shane Lowry who are not anywhere close to the top 20. Should Europe be worried? Well, I don't think so, because we do have the likes of Lee Westwood and Sergio Garcia, some veterans on our team. To put that into context, Lee Westwood has played 44 Ryder Cup matches in his career. The entire USA roster have only played 46. Sergio Garcia has earned the most Ryder Cup points out of anyone, with 25.5 points. So with our rookies such as Victor Hovland, we're going to have a lot of experience. Still though, Team USA is tipped as the heavy favourite. And although I understand why, I think those odds may be a little bit favourable towards them. Yes, it is at Whistling Straits, a course which doesn't have thick rough, which has wide open fairways, but also looks quite intimidating off the tee. We will see Bryson DeChambeau absolutely bombing it, especially off the first tee. Bryson has been speed training, so he has been topping ball speeds of over 210 miles an hour. If he keeps that somewhat accurate, he's only going to have a flick of a wedge to more or less every par 4 and par 5. The only worry with this course for Team USA is, it's not really an American favourite course apart from what I've mentioned already. It plays with a 1-2, to two, maybe even 3 club win, because it's near the lake. This makes it more like a Lynx course more than an actual proper American style course which a few players such as Rory McIlroy, Paul Casey, Tommy Fleetwood, I think they'll be able to handle it very well. As well as that, in comparison to Hazeltine in 2016 where there were fans absolutely everywhere, all around the green, Whistling Straits is a little bit different. It's a little bit out of the way in terms of its location and also the fans are not going to be as close to the greens in comparison to Hazeltine. This means that the home course favourite will obviously still be a massive factor but maybe not as much as people think. Still though to negate that because of Covid restrictions there's going to be very very little European fans. So of the 40,000 or so people coming through every single day I reckon about 95 to 99% of them will be American fans. Fans. The question is, who tees off first on Friday? Well, I'm pretty certain Bryson DeChambeau should tee off first on that first group because at a 365 yard hole, if he takes out driver or even three wood and bombs it to the start of the green, I think Europe are going to be pretty worried. Still, there's going to be a lot of interesting matchups from four balls to foursomes to singles. And here at Golf Magic, we're going to cover absolutely all of it. So stay tuned on all of our socials and golfmagic.com to see all of our updates throughout Friday to Sunday. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. Let me know down in the comments who you think is going to win the Ryder Cup and who you think your player to watch is. I've heard Roy McIlroy is putting on a ball striking clinic so far in practice, but let me know down in the comments. If you guys are new to the Gold Planet YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below, and we will see you at the next video.